Hi, this is an Easy Kiss 123 tutorial, and today we're going to set up a login registration system for your website so that you can password protect your pages and users can register on your website. And once they're registered, they can access the password protected pages. And if you're not already there, go to the easykiss123.com website. If you don't see this tutorial, just come over here to the search box and type in registration, and it should bring this tutorial up to the top. We'll scroll down and take a look at the demo have a look see what it looks like this would end up being your control panel what it looks like and the user would register here and they would be sent an email to verify that it's a valid email address where they click a link and validates their registration then they can come in and log in and it will display the proper links here to the visit the pages they want to visit so we'll get started setting this up for your site and we'll click download tab here on the tutorial page and download all the files save it anywhere in your computer that you want and you get a file called registration.zip so we'll extract that and that gives us a folder called login so open this up and you'll see a file called install instructions so we're going to open that up right away and right here, first thing we want to do is set up our database. Now, if you don't know how to set up a database, I'm not going to walk through doing that in this one. We're going to use this to create the tables and whatnot, but I have other tutorials in the site where we walk through setting up a database. So copy this bit of code, and when you log into your control panel with your host and you create a new database, I've created one called registration, through PHP my admin and what we're going to do is go to the SQL tab and then we're going to paste this bit of code in there and we'll click go once that is done we've set up our users table Next thing we're going to do on install instructions, we want to go and change a few of these files. config.inc.php. So we'll find that, and we've got to move along pretty quick to keep this one under 10 minutes. But um, on line 15, we're going to change that to say true. And this is means your site is live, so it's not going to display the full error messages. On line 18, we're going to add your email, info at easykiss123.com. On line 21, we're going to add your site here. I'm going to put easykiss123.com. And you can leave where it says slash login slash afterwards. And we're going to go to line 55. and we're going to put in your email again so put in your own and we'll put in info at easykiss123.com you would put in your own email we'll save that and we can close that file then we're going to go to the next file in our steps here we go forgotpassword.php so we're going to open that up forgotpassword.php and we're going to change line 43 and 44. So we'll scroll down on line 43. This is the message that gets sent to their email address if they've forgotten their password. So put in your own website address here. I'm going to put an easy kiss123 and save that on line 44. Once again, put your own email info at easy kiss. 123.com and so we can save that and close it. The next file that we need to make changes to is the MySQL Connect. So we're going to open that up. And here I've saved a file with my database info. I've called my database 
Easy Kiss registration. So you're gonna whatever you've called your database is what you're gonna put in there. My database name here down on line eleven. Paste that in. My username, Easy Kiss, Easy Reg. And that's on line eight. It's my username. You put in your own username. The password I set for it is password. And where it says local host, you can likely leave that unless your hosting provider specifies that it must be different. And we can close that file. File register.php is the next up. Register.php. And what we need to change in here, 70 and 72. Line 70, 72. So we'll scroll down on line 70, your site name, again, it's a part of what gets sent to their email. So I'm going to put in easy kiss 123 and 72, you're going to put in your own email address one more time, info at easykiss123.com for my email. And then we can close that file. Then what we want to do is open our FTP program and we want to take the folder and I'm going to go to the www directory and I'm going to take the whole folder login and I'm going to upload that whole folder right here. And yes, you can overwrite. So now when we go to easykiss123.com slash login it brings us to our control panel and what we can do is we'll test it out, we'll register here let's say we'll call him Bob Bob Buns, that works and easykiss123 at gmail.com password and we will register. And a confirmation email has been sent to your address. So I'll go to my inbox. You can see I've got, right, thank you for registering at EasyKiss123. So to activate the account before you can actually log in, your account is now active. So now we can log in and we would have access to all of the password protected pages. Now to password protect your page is the next step. I've created a page here on my desktop. I just called it mypage.php. So we're going to open that up. And if you open this file, it's just going to say my password protected page. But we want it to actually be password protected. So what we're going to do is we're going to take in our notes here, install instructions file. And we'll scroll down. It says code to add to your pages to password protect them. Right here, where it starts with this PHP code, we're going to grab that and copy it. We'll go back to our file and go right to the top, right on line one. And don't leave any spaces, just put it right there at the very top and paste that in. And save. And then we're going to go back to our install instructions file. We're going to grab this little bit of code and copy it and go back here and then we're going to put that at the very bottom after the HTML tag right at the very bottom and save that now that that's saved we're going to go to our FTP program and this file called mypage.php I'm in my www directory let's upload that now one thing I forgot to mention here go back to my page.php file at the very top here on line 2 is a path to this file config.inc.php well we didn't put this file inside of our login folder so we have to add that here login slash includes config.inc.php if you are inside of your login folder 
and that's where your password protected page is going to be, then you don't need to add this. But we're outside of it, so we do need to add it, so save it. Let's re-upload that. So now if we go to easykiss123.com slash mypage.php, when we go there, it shouldn't let us view the page. What it should do is take us, redirect us to the control panel where we have the option to log in, which it did. If we were logged in, it would let us view the page. I'm going to do another video, uh, likely this week, and show you how to expand on this whole control panel and add an administrator section and how to add your links and whatnot throughout once you're logged in. So very handy. It's been an easy kiss one, two, three tutorial.